Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now firstly I'd like to apologize for the lack of content over the recent months. I've been crazy busy with work and I've just not had the time to either film or to edit content and get it posted. But we are now in 2022, little break before we go back to work. One of the goals this year is to focus on getting more content out on the channel and on the socials for you guys because I do get countless messages every week of why we're not seeing a video, where's the video, where's the van tour video, where's this? They are coming, I promise they will come as soon as I physically can. So the first video of 2022 has to be probably the most requested video I've had in a while, and it is of course the transport build. Now the van's been on the road for about six months. It's absolutely faultless in the design side of it, work and all that. Um, we did actually film the video just before Christmas, but I filmed it on a Sony ZV-1 um, and the footage was horrific. It was like it had no stabilization and it was so shaky, it's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I've stolen my mate's GoPro, so let's crack on with it and get it filmed. And there she is. Now I know a lot of people have already seen pictures of this. There's many pictures around and it's been very popular. But for those that haven't, she is um, so it's currently sitting on full low down transport suspension with 3h uh, self-leveling by airlift performance uh, we've got t6.1 rear lights and then we are sitting nicely very very nicely on nine and a half j rear amarox in powder coat chrome and Eight and a half J, also powder coat chrome for the front, along with uh, full transport sport line and LED bar headlights and everything, all from Traven and Light Transporters. Now, some of you might spot there's a bit missing of that splitter. There's a funny story behind that, which was uh, on Instagram. So, if you do follow me, you will have seen that. I just haven't got around to replacing it. And I also have had a little boo-boo with a wheel and a curb for not paying attention. So that's got to be sorted at some point, but banded steels were a nightmare to get sorted, unfortunately. So it's not happening anytime soon. Uh, Imageworks did the wrap along with Infamous Creations. So anybody that's watched my caddy video, which is looking very sorry for it, so it's actually had a cat walking all over it, as you can see when it's been left outside. Um, Infamous Creations, which designed the wrap that went on this, designed this. Um, I gave him some ideas of what I liked. He went, don't like it, did his own thing, as per with the caddy. Um, but to be fair, he smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. It works fantastically. Uh, along with Imageworks, having their input of doing the actual wrap itself in satin. Uh, with the bigger logos in gloss just to make it jump and pop out a bit more which it really does in person um, fun fact of we dropped the van off I went back an hour later and uh, or a couple of hours later and they'd done the bonnet and I went mm, yeah I don't like it didn't like the green because it wasn't as bright and glossy obviously as the previous one it didn't uh, work for me as such but once we got the van back, got the wheels on, um, put the front end back on, because I put all the splitters on and balances and all that when it come back, fitted it all up. Pulled it out and actually looked at it and went, actually, yeah, I really do like it. it it's grown on me so much over the past six months that now I absolutely love it. Uh, the only thing we have got to sort is they were done in some peelable paint from Halfords, just because obviously you can't wrap the hinges as such. Um, but the peelable paints come off in time with snow foams and pre-washes so I'm going to get another set of hinges have them powder coated satin black and then they can go back on but yeah that's pretty much the outside inside turn them off so it's not beeping some Bentley style seat covers which came with the van and then we've upgraded to a Scirocco our wheel with paddles because the van is DSG and some T6 Highline clocks other than that nothing in the front Just kept it pretty much standard never get bored of that let's have a look at the inside 
So we've had to move the van back inside now. People have turned up for work and I'm in the way. So, and we've had to go back to my GoPro because the other one keeps freezing. So for about the ninth time of filming this, we are gonna film it. Um, first thing that will stand out to you on the side door is the massive water tank. Now, that was the biggest reason for upgrading from the Caddy to the transporter was for one of these. Uh, 650 litre tank in a stainless steel frame. You just see the frame in there and then in there you'll see it. Uh, that is bolted in about 15 places all the way around. It was an absolute pain in the ass to do. Uh, it took us a day to get it because there's like five down there or whatever. And, you know what I mean? There's bolts all the way around it. But we had to drop the fuel tank, uh, exhaust, heat shields and everything to do it. Um, but it's in, safety is paramount because this tank with the frame full of water weighs 700 kg. So look, it's over half a ton. You want that in and properly done. Um, nine millimeter ply frame, fully carpeted with obviously inspection hole there and there for the water level. You can actually see water levels up there. Um, fully carpeted, say Gary, uh, one of my good mates, he did all the carpeting. So anyone that follows me on Instagram knows who he is because he was around for a good few months helping me out. He volunteered to do all the carpeting and he did a splendid job um, of everything that needed carpeting. So fair play, thank you, Gary. Um, hose reel side of things is a 25 meter uh, Q washes one from eBay. Absolutely perfect. It's all braced underneath here. Obviously we then with the checker plate on top more to catch any dirt and debris that falls off of the reel onto here, rather than it ending up in there in the carpet. Um, it's a very, very snug fit. Like, it just fits in there, and it actually was a complete guess. We didn't think about that when we designed it, um, but it does fit. But this whole top section comes off with the reel. It takes two people to gently get it out through the back. Um, so yeah, hopefully that doesn't go wrong anytime soon. Next up, you'll see our lovely work van shop holders massive thanks to work van shop for getting these out to me quick time as well when we was doing the build we also did a little bit of work with the new snow foam holders that they did um they're absolutely, literally that is as far as it goes so it doesn't tip and leak they have actually given me a lovely 10 percent off code for you guys so that will be in the description below that's all them uh, uh, uh gleam detailing we got then for gleam detailing lances we've got the 600 mil with the angled end and then the basic one stubby the standard stubby which comes with the crown all we've got a lovely quick release gun uh, i had the predecessor to this in the caddy for two years faultless never let me down once straight back to it i've seen a lot of guys now using the new stubby quick release ones that you get with the tiny little attachments i personally don't like those i've seen too many fail or not been clipped in properly and they fly out and damage whatever's in front of them and i've seen it personally my good friend maloney plumbing and heating has done all my pipe work even to the point if i can get in there the crownsel itself is actually on a braided line because crownsel do recommend to directly connect them like hard pipe them so they're not any risk of uh, air getting in, should we say. 22 mil pipe work, just for more flow. Um, A, for filling buckets up, which is all done with that. And that literally just clicks off and lives down there. Didn't really have a place for it. Um, but yeah, more flow and maximum flow to the jet wash, obviously that's key. Got a little extension step so all the woodwork was done by my good friend Simon, uh, Bespoke Worktops. He made the little edge and then we've covered it in anti-slip floor, which is brilliant. I mean, that lives there and it doesn't move, to be fair. Nine litre pump sprayer. Uh, now, anyone that's seen the Caddy video knows I had big issues with my Marilex. I didn't like it, it was too heavy, all that sort of stuff, um, especially with the handle being aluminium. Whereas this is plastic, I much prefer this one. Both of our buckets for wheels and rinsing, obviously various wheel brushes in there, you all know about them. Wash bucket with the green gamma lid, obviously this stops any dirt and debris landing on the wash mitts. 
another compartment with the Bissell Spot Clean Pro. A little pop-up step, and then obviously a big step ladder. And that is it for that section. That is how I wanted that was to be for the wet area only, basically. You know what I mean, in that section. Uh, we've got our little extension cable. Nice little, it's mounted on brackets, so it can come off. And you just click it back in. Let me get it in there, there we go. And then that can literally just live there. It technically never needs to leave the van. So that works fantastically. I think all in all, it took us three months to actually design and build the van uh, to get it where we wanted it, but it works really well. Um, another bottle holder there with some more bits and pieces that we need for top ups. And we've got another one there with some garage therapy stuff that I'm currently testing. So let's move to the back. So now the back of the van. I'm we'll starting the corner. A SGS 3.4 KVO generator. This is actually one of the newer versions that they did. Um, it's quite small frame wise. It's all fixed in place. Can't go anywhere. And there's the specs if I do that. Uh, works perfectly. It's not too loud. Obviously, you've got a couple of fly leads made to some plugs, all done properly. Um, exhaust is there, so there's nothing actually in the way. This can be running with technically this door still shut. With the side door open, it's got plenty of obviously room to breathe. Um, I've had no issues with it sitting where it sits, no need to get it in and out every time. My only negative is that is like a four litre fuel tank, which is very small and very annoying because you have to fill it up after every, I don't know, two or three cars, so every day, if you use it every day. Thankfully, I try and plug in where possible. Obviously then the Kranzel only goes from there to there or back and that's it. Everyone knows Henry's brother pneumatic. Only difference being with that is it has a yellow 12 meter cable instead of a black nine meter, I think it is, uh, and a jerry can, so that's that. Again, framework is built by Simon for the boxes, which house the filled plastics storage units, which are lockable. Massive thanks to them, because they had zero UK stock when I contacted them, and they made sure I had some before the van reveal day so thank you guys and a little compartment on that side and a little compartment on this side one of henry's wheels and a spare stowaway brush that i need to put away actually uh kirkland microfibers just in case we need them that's actually a spare that's a wheel brush uh, but we don't keep it in the bucket for some reason i don't know why but i don't keep it in the bucket it lives up there um storage containers so top one on this side this is how good they are they actually carry two foam lances in this one and they just they don't break they don't come undone um spare lances and for magic seal so water bright magic seal which is their ceramic infused protection via foam lance and we've got a Kranzel vario lance in there as a spare this one's half empty but it's normally full of wash mitts towels for drying or anything uh, more spare towels applicators we've got a couple more towels in there just in case we need them and then this one is various spares henry hoover attachments uh, we've got the funnel for the generator in there but again doesn't come undone this is an MDF box that was for the bin. Basically, it's rubbish only, and it was just wrapped or painted to make it waterproof, and it sits in there. Again, our lovely work van shop holders. These are for the 500 mil bottles for the various auto bright products in the van. And then a nice little piece on the side for our tire dressing brushes. I believe they're just spring clips with uh, like shelf brackets. I got them from B&Q just because we had the space, the brushes, and they work absolutely flawless. 
I don't fall off or anything, so winner. Cost me like 99p. And there we go. That's that side. Moving on, we got some more bottle holders. More bottle holders, various polishes and cleaners, like glass cleaners this side. Tried to do it so that cleaners, glass cleaners, um, interior cleaners, so leather, alcantara and stuff is that side. We've got our air fresheners. And we've obviously got our tire dressing, tire and glue, fallout, and arch dressing like Super Sheen. Quick detailers or outside sprays. And then obviously our polishes, sealants, whatever you want them to be, is there. With a couple more interior brushes. Try to again keep them more separate. Obviously soft. These are brilliant by the way for interiors when you're obviously not against piano black, but normal interiors like plastics, they're great for getting in crevices. And then this side is just general exterior purpose microfibers for like drying with quick detailers and stuff. We've got glass towels, various different ones I'm trying because I've never found a glass towel to be honest that I really do like. Uh, so we've got a couple of them in there. Our all purpose interior cloths, these get used for everything. And then our yellow ones which are our dirty jobs, door shuts, exhaust tips, so on. And then we've got our utensil box, obviously our sticks, magic sponges, and then mouth swabs for interior work, various brushes, tire dressing applicator, which I'm yet to use, but it's there just in case. And then some metal polish, wheel sealant, a couple of waxes, and a couple of applicators. But again, they're all lockable drawers, they don't go anywhere. They really are a great design. And that is sort of it. Oh, lighting. Uh, so the lighting is from a company called LED It. Uh, they come in little three blocks of LED, and then we've put them in some LED trunking with a diffuser on the top to uh, sort of like break, break it up a little bit. It doesn't massively, because you can still see, but it makes a massive difference. If I actually go around the side, turn the lights off from here and you'll see the difference that they make and it is crazy how much light they actually give off uh, they're wired up to the van harness so they only actually stay on for 15 minutes but I can literally just uh, and then they come back on again don't really need to be on during the day anyway so that's why they're on the original harness and there we go, that is the van tour finally filmed. It's taken a while, but we've got there in the end. Now, I think the whole process of buying the van, building it to get it to usable state where I was happy, uh, I think it took about three months in total. Like we spent a lot of time planning to make sure that everything went in a position that it would work, we wouldn't have to change anything, like it would be easy and efficient to work with sort of thing. Um, and to be fair, I've not had to change a single thing around. Everything works as it should perfectly we've had no issues um, so that obviously that time spent doing that worked well um, so in the description below I will also add links to as much of the stuff used in the back of the van as possible along with uh, the discount codes etc for work van shop now if you have got any questions or anything about the build anything that you want to know anything I've not covered please drop me a message I will also add links to all my socials in the description below um, Hopefully it's been informative and you guys have liked it. I know the van has been very popular on the road. A lot of people have seen it. A lot of people have liked it, commented on it, etc. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you on another video very soon.